Our Jewish tradition teaches that even the recipients of tzedakah are obligated to give. I'm not sure that that law is based in this week's Torah portion, Parashat Achrimot Kudoshim, but I'd like to suggest a connection, and a connection to our lives and the moment in which we find ourselves. In this week's Torah portion, we are commanded, or the ancient Israelites are commanded, to leave a corner of their fields for the poor. And what the rule is, is that, is that farmers were not allowed to harvest all the way to the corners of their fields. They had to leave some. And in the Talmud, we learn that what they leave actually belongs to the poor, is the property of the poor. And if the landowner harvests it for him or herself, that landowner is stealing from the poor. It actually belongs to the poor. But we're not told how much the landowner has to leave. It says the corner of the field. So in a humongous field, that's going to be a larger amount than in a small field. You know, right now, some of us are fortunate and secure. We have our employment, we know where our next meal's coming from, and so much more than that, roofs over our heads. Others are in a much, much more difficult situation. None of us has what we usually have, though. And I'm not talking about materially. None of us has the capability to go and do the things that we normally can do. And none of us is doing our work in the way that we normally do it. I've been so grateful as we've offered our worship services over Zoom first for the expertise and the dedication of Eileen Hamilton and Richard Estelita and Tim Kessler, who've made sure that things work out from a technical point of view. And I've also been grateful for the forbearance of our congregants with the reality that we can't get that right 100% of the time. We're doing something new that we've never done before. We have less right now less of our usual resources with which to do things, and yet we're still giving. And that isn't only the temple that's still giving. I'm wearing my Jacob's Camp t-shirt today, my Jacob's Camp Shabbat shirt, because this week Jacob's Camp announced that it won't be able to hold any summer sessions. This didn't come as a surprise, as disappointing and awful as it is. And so Jacob's Camp has less to offer than usual right now. Nevertheless, it's still offering the corner of its smaller field. It's still putting out programming over the internet, um, over Zoom, over Facebook Live, trying to share what it does have, the corner of its considerably smaller than usual fields with those who are thirsty for that engagement. That's what we at the temple are doing. That's what Jacob's Camp is doing. And I pray that each of us in our own lives, in our own work, in our own volunteer efforts, in our own personal and family lives, no matter how small and constrained the, our fields have become, may we always offer the corner to those who are in need. Shabbat Shalom.